Hello everyone, welcome to HollywoodNepal.com. Today we have the pleasure to interview Dr. Rajan Prasad Pokharal, who is a well-known writer. He was born in Nepal and lives in Canada. Let's welcome him. Welcome, Doctor. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, please tell us a little about yourself. I'm Rajan Prasad Pokharal. I'm from Nepal. I was born in the hillside of Nepal. And later I migrated to the plain land and I uh, completed my education in Kathmandu and uh, I taught in Tribune University for more than 25 uh, years and I came to Canada with my family. I'm living in Canada as a permanent resident now. Uh, I will do uh, on and off between Canada and Nepal. So are you uh, currently writing a, a new book at the present time? Yes, my three books have been published from the USA uh, and I'm writing my fourth book. I'm going to finish it soon. Uh, it's about uh, the multicultural situation of my new place. In Canada? Yes, in Canada. And um, can you tell us a little more about it? Yes, uh, I have uh, tried to jot down uh, the situations of the people in Canada. We have come here from different countries. They have different cultures, different styles, different systems of life. And they have to adjust with different cultures, different traditions. And there are uh, problems in settlement in adjustment uh, and there are uh, sufferings too. Tell me, uh, why do people uh, write? What is their motivation? Okay, actually, it's my, it's my interest. It's my intuition. It's my aim of life also. It's my internal drive and I want to write to express myself. Very nice. Um, why did you start writing in English? Uh, I used to write in Nepali, uh, but when I received my degree in English, I thought I should write in English. Uh, I felt uh, easier to write English, write in English than in Nepali and more so, uh, English readers are many in the world. English is an international language. Therefore, I should uh, capture the attention of the people of the world and capture the broader market of North America from where the books are disseminated to the world. Do you think that the English market would be interested in Nepal? Definitely. Uh, the English readers are growing in Nepal. Uh, but uh, American market is the uh, center of the world. So tell us more about the books that you've written. Uh... Okay. My first book is about the political situation of Nepal. There was a big conflict uh, in Nepal, uh, which was termed as the People's War. And there was a fight between the rebels and the government. And there, uh, uh, there was a peace talk also. And finally they came to the peace process. And I have written about the confrontations, the contradictions between the two parties, the two, two systems between the rebels and the government side. And this is about the political situation, how people underwent the, underwent the political uncertainties and how people suffered. And what is the name of that book that you're describing? Uh, rebels of the Mountains. I see. And uh, your other books, what about them? Uh, my second book is uh, about the social history of Nepal. It covers almost the period of 50 years. Uh, 
and uh, it talks how people uh, interact in society, uh, how people contradict in society, and how the society develops through contradictions. Is that Nepali society or Canadian? Yes, yes it's about Nepal. Uh, it's about Nepal and Nepali society. And what about your uh, third book? What about that? It's about uh, myself. It's a memoir writing. It's a non-fiction writing. And I have talked about my growth, my childhood, my love affairs, and my interactions with so many people of the world. And I have not concentrated on myself personally only. I have talked about the whole society, whole political situation. Um, what did you want the world to know about Nepali politics? Uh, Nepali politics is going through uncertainties. There is there is still a possibility, a kind of possibility of contradictions, but there are flashes of light. It's the uh, the politics is going progressively. I say. I see. And uh, have any of your works been influenced by Western writers? Definitely. In your experience, uh, what is the difference between uh, Western writers and Nepali writers? The writers have to uh, take things in their challenge. Uh, Nepali writers are growing. However, they are very much prolific. Um, they are as fluent, as eloquent as the Western, Western, Western writers are. Uh, I'm, I've been very much in, uh, influenced by the Nepali writers also. Because my learning, my upbringing, uh, it started from reading the Nepali writers. Great. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Uh, Pokharel, for speaking to us. Thank you. Thank you for coming to me and taking my interest.